Good evening, little ones. Welcome back to Bed Books Bite. Today we have a book called Have Fun, Molly Lou Mellon. Written by Patty Lavelle. Illustrated by David Catro. Molly Lou Mellon's toy chest overflowed with who's or what's it of all shapes and sizes. Her grandma had told her, Back in the olden days, I didn't have fancy dolls or action figures. I made them out of twigs, leaves, and flowers, like hollyhocks and daisies. So she did just that. Molly Lou Mellon's backyard had a big weeping willow and crumbly rock walls with thingamajigs peeking out from every crevice. Her grandma had told her, Back in the olden days, I didn't have a store-bought dollhouse. I made one in my backyard. So she did just that. Molly Lou Mellon's garage was full of colorful boxes and crates. Her grandma had told her, Back in the olden days, I didn't have a race car. I sat in a cardboard box and sped down the hill. So she did just that. Molly Lou Mellon lay on her back in the tall, willowy grass. Her grandma had told her, Back in the olden days, I didn't have television. I watched the clouds that floated by and I saw lots of things in them. So she did just that. One day, new neighbors moved in next door. When Molly Lou Mellon went to welcome their little girl, she heard Gertie say to her mom, I'm bored, bored, bored. Molly Lou Mellon invited Gertie over to play. On Monday, Gertie brought over her darling Darla Deluxe dollhouse, complete with an electric mixer and working chandeliers. Molly Lou Mellon showed Gertie her tree root palace, complete with the acorn cap dinner plates, woven leaf air conditioning system, and cicada jacuzzi. Gertie was amazed. On Tuesday, Gertie drove over in her battery-operated, fully-loaded Coupe de Ville. Look out below! Molly Lou Mellon screamed right before hurling down the hill in her turbo box car, hand-painted with orange and red flames. Gertie was amazed. On Wednesday, Gertie was going to call Molly Lou Mellon on her cell phone but then she heard a strange sound coming from an old tin can that was dangling in her window. This is the operator. Will you accept a call from me, Molly Lou Mellon? Y yes. Gertie spoke into the can. Great, come on over. Click. Gertie was amazed. On Thursday, Gertie asked Molly Lou Mellon if she'd like to come over and watch cartoons on a big screen TV. It's 120 inches wide. Molly Lou Mellon said, Not today, thanks. I'm going to watch the clouds. They're sky wide. Gertie was amazed. On Friday, Gertie brought over a homemade doll with frilly hollyhock skirt and violets for hair. It's for your palace, she said, and Molly Lou Mellon was amazed. On Friday evening, Molly Lou Mellon and Gertie were tired, 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 from playing all week. They lay down in the tall willowy grass looking up at the clouds. I see a butterfly, <laughs> Gertie giggled, and a penguin, and a refrigerator. Molly Lou Mellon opened her eyes wide and grinned, her biggest grin. 
I see a grandma shaped cloud winking at me. And Molly Lou Melon winked right back. The end. I hope you had fun reading with me today. And depending on which books you like, I may continue to read books from the same author. Like, share, and subscribe for more. And as always, I pray you sweet dreams and a good night's sleep. Bye, everybody. Till next time.